In this video, I want to show you some navigation shortcuts in IntelliJ that are really important to know in order to navigate your code faster. Why? Because we spend so much more time reading code than we do writing code. And if you would like to navigate your code around, then well, what do you typically do? You go here and say, there is some invocation, so I control click, right? And then I jump to the other class. Well, this works, but obviously you're faster using the keyboard and it helps a lot. Well, not just if you use this idea of Vim integration that I have, but in order to jump there to do control B. So that with that, you jump to the definition here of a method. And the interesting thing, it also works the other way around. You can jump back with control B to just jump to all of the usages. So if I had two usages here, then well, it would ask me which one you would like to have. Obviously this can be quite cumbersome in a big project, but you will see where the usage is of this method. Of course, this doesn't only work with your own uh, method, but with jumping to any method like the system out or also not just methods, but classes. For example, I can jump to this class with the same shortcut. So you see, this is just faster. You don't need to touch your mouse. By the way, how can we go back? So if I jump somewhere, control B, then what I can do, I can use control alt and then left and right to jump back and actually also forward. So I can uh, go a few steps here. And this is just really fast as you've seen uh, in order to navigate around. This works with um, invocations here, but also with going to, well, a super, a class and an implementation. So let me show you this. If we have something like a list and an array list, if I say list add and then add some string, for instance, I could, of course, well, jump to this method, control B, what we've just seen, but then also see, okay, this now has the method of the list. So I could jump to the implementation, control alt B, that's the second one, where I say, okay, this could be now there are many implementations of this list available, for example, the abstract uh, list or the array list that I wanted to have this one that actually is my implementation for that. I could also go to the super uh, definition again with control U that then goes well to the super method, for example, of abstract list or of the list I just had before. So you can jump with these back and forward and then also the invocation, which here is a little bit more cumbersome because there are many available if I press control B again here. So I then I can jump back with the same control alt left right that we've just seen. So this is already really helpful. These few methods in order to navigate your code. Now, if we have a look at how to navigate your project and what to search for, for example, searching for classes, and I'm pretty sure you know about uh, this one, control N for just going to a class, for example, the some other class or control shift N for having any file. That also would find to some other class, obviously, but it also finds my POM XML, for instance. So that just goes to these as well. Or if you're not even sure, then you can always press shift shift and it also finds um, some method. So you can pretty much search for anything. It also is helpful if you don't know about some IntelliJ features, you can find some options here, some settings, just press shift shift and you will find, well, all. You also see the tab navigation here of what you can do in the search. So this is already really helpful, but to even bring it to the next level of your navigation that you don't need to touch your mouse at all, I really encourage you to also use the keyboard in order to navigate your project in the navigation selector, in the project selector. So here, what I did, you can see this in the keys that I'm pressing. I have some extension that is called nerd tree. Uh, so in order to have that, or you just use your cursor arrows out, obviously. How to get to your um, editor, you always get to your editor when you're in this selection, when the focus is here by pressing escape. So then I'm back in my editor and I go to the project window with Alt-1. So with this, you can jump there, even if it's not open. So I can have here some focused view. I press Alt-1 and then I'm there, which is quite helpful. If this one is something like that, if it's closed and I just would like to jump to my file, I can uh, press Alt F1 and then enter. So it says select this file somewhere. That's what I do all the time in order to open this up. So if I say, well, where is my some other class? Alt F1, enter, and then I have it selected here in my project selector and I can do this as well. I can, uh, well, 
for example, refactor this class or move it somewhere else. So this is really helpful in order to navigate your windows. There's one more thing that you've just seen. I can move around these windows what I have with Alt and then left, right. So if I say I have these available, let's close all the other windows here left, right, so it's uh, to quickly switch between some classes or basically some open editor tabs, that is also helpful. So really the idea is to not touch your mouse more than necessary. And I showed you, you can use the shift shift also in order to um, search for some features or for refactoring actions so that you really don't need to touch your mouse anymore. And really we shouldn't because we spend a lot of time in our IDE. And as you know, you just increase the focus and you're also a little bit faster by just keeping on the keyboard as much as possible. I understand that in the beginning this might be a little bit clunky because you don't uh, know these most important uh, keyboard shortcuts. Maybe even yet you can have you know some small um, note next to your screen in order to remind you. But just these few ones really help a lot in order to navigate our code around because we read code much more as we write code. I hope you found this interesting. I have a whole video course on this topic of being more productive as a developer, link down below. And I also would really appreciate a like if you found this helpful. As always, thanks a lot for watching. Bye.